This is the home to Tabu Lily, a breastfeeding mother aged 27 and resident of Kotido municipality, Karamoja sub-region. The mother to three children aged between two to five years is among the many mostly women, young girls and children who flock the different water taps in Kotido municipality as early as 4 a.m. to collect water. The taps are under the Ministry of Water and Environment. By 10 a.m., Miss Lily had not secured any water due to the long queues. When you just wake up early in the morning, you go for water. When you come at around 4, you will go up, up, up to midday because of shortage of water. This is one of the water points here in Kotido town. Women here tell us they come as early as 3 a.m. to fetch water. And the more hours they spend here, the less time they care for their children. Like me, I came, I came at around 11 up to now, midnight. Up to now, I've never gone back home and my children, but now they've not even taken tea, they've not even did anything. Even me also, I've not even did any homework at all. But I'm still in the bar hall here up to now. And my children are suffering, not even mine, even for my neighbors. A 20 liter jerry can of water ranges between 200 to 2,000 Ugandan shillings during scarcity. When water comes, it comes like something of for two hours, eh? and it goes. In some of us, you need something like 15 jerrycans. You have to go again and look for water 15 kilometers away from town. Dennis Omal is one of the top attendants. He says sometimes school-going children have no option but to go without bathing. Like the nursery kids, those ones that they can, they can, they cannot, they, they don't mind whether they bathe or what. But now these ones are in primary. They have to bathe, but now if there's no water, these poor people here, they cannot afford completely. So the children ask us to go like that when they are dirty. Mm. The vice chairperson Kotido Nangiro Ignatius Apollo, however, says the problem is not worrying like before. Uh, we have almost water in every village except uh, one area when we went for monitoring. Where in school, the, bro the, 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 the school had no water completely. And, uh, Kotido district is one of the areas that are diversely affected by the extended dry spells, leaving many communities without sufficient safe water and food exacerbated by poverty. It's one of the 28 districts the United Nations Children's Fund body in Uganda, UNICEF, has taken up to support the National Integrated Early Childhood Development Policy, of which food security and nutrition, primary health care, sanitation and environment, and early childhood care and education are among the policy actions. We are passionate about integrated ECD. It's one of our flagship programs and we are still in the region to support the local governments with financial and technical support for this program to succeed. Ms. Rebecca Kwagala, Program Specialist UNICEF Moroto Zono Office, says despite the challenges, the program has had some achievements. And also for this region, they have gone ahead to roll out the family care practices that bring out the nurturing of the child to the communities. This is still ongoing, but I can say it's a good achievement and we are moving in the right direction. Uh, it will now go ahead to, to improve health and education sectors in this place. Over the weekend, UNICEF and with the Minister of Gender Labor and Social Development were in Kotido District for their second community mobilization campaign on early childhood development under the theme Nurturing and Care. When a child is well nurtured and cared for, they, they, grow, they grow up healthier. They are also able to fully develop their thinking, their language, their social and emotional skills. They are able to perform better in school. They are able to be creative and also productive members of society. Kotido Resident District Commissioner Peter Logiro urged regional local governments and stakeholders to integrate ECD in their planning to ensure best start in life of Ugandan children. Karamoja deserves to hear more and must open its ears to the call for growth and development of children, which is mandatory for all adults who are primary caregivers. Bernard Iga, UBC TV, Karamoja Sub Region.